We are launching into a table at Mahjong time. We'll be playing Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I'm going to be playing against a robot, so I want to test a theory. I played a few minutes ago, and I was waiting on a tile to complete a pair, and it was in the robot's hand. When you play with a robot, the robot picks and discards. Each pick is going to be discarded, so any tiles in the robot's hand will remain there the entire game. So if your pair tile is in the robot's hand right now, for example, you may never get that pair. So my theory is when playing against a robot, secure your pairs or play with Pungs and Kongs. That's the theory I want to test. So let's see what we can do here. We need to figure out what we're going to do. We have two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine. Let's get rid of the wins. East wind. All right, now let me organize my hand here and see what we got. We do have lots of jokers, a flower, and a pair of norths. We could potentially play a quint. I'm trying to get my tiles arranged here. Okay, let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Let, let's get rid of the nine here. All right. We're going to get nine organized. Characters. To move your tiles, hold your shift key down, click on the tile, and that will move your tiles for you. North so North. here's two, four, six, eight. Let's see. I don't think I'm ready to quint. I'm going to pass on that north. Let's not play a quint. I'm thinking one, three, five, little odds. One, three, three, five. That would leverage these multiples here. Here's a one and a three. We don't need a one crack. One, one three, or one, three, five with fives. One, three, five with Kongs of fives. That's a 30 point Seven hand. Damage. That might be nice. Here's a six. Let's get rid of the north. So one, north three, five north. or one, three, three, five is what I'm thinking there. Down here, let's see. We do have sixes. Okay, we're stuck. One, three, let's, let's, uh, let's Kong. You have to move your jokers. Kong depending on what your conventions are. So Two we're gonna focus on one, three, three, five. Second hand down, second hand down under odds. Eight okay, eight crack, we need a pair. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the hand with the dragon. There's a three, that's a keeper. Let's get rid of the nine. Nine done. So the one three three five hand has come in together quickly. The other potential that we have here is three six six nine second hand down. This Four would dots. be a hand with with both of these would be a hand one with no bin. pairs. So in this case we can use jokers and if our bot is holding our tiles we can always use Eight jokers. Dots. There's a three. So three, six, six, nine. Let's give up on two, four, six, eight. Red this way we're leveraging all the multiples. So three, six, six, nine, second hand down. No pairs. And the first hand, one, three, three, five, second hand down under odds, no pairs. This way we can use all the jokers we need in case we don't see those tiles from our bot. So we're ready to Kong and Pung here. Two bamboos. We need one more tile. The other thing that you want to keep in mind when you play against a robot is they will not make any exposure. So there will be no value to holding Joker bait because they will not be baited. Or they will not be they will not fall to the bait and switch, as it were. Pung. So we have a Pung now. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all these Four even characters. tiles. 
down here we can con the six or the nine so we're going to need uh, some tiles down here or we could maybe use the joker up here but we'll see either hand can use them Seven so characters. oh there's a good tile so now we can use this for the nine three six six nine pung kong pung kong so again with a joke with a robot they are not going to make exposures and they're also not going to win right, because right. they're just holding random tiles since they're holding okay, random okay. tiles they won't have a winning hand so really you're playing against the wall in their discards which are random so keep that in mind when you're playing with a robot secure your pairs or play without no, them and then don't worry about joker bait or for that matter defensive discards you can just play to win against the wall and hope to use their discards so it really doesn't none of these tiles matter they'll just be discarded willy-nilly there's no rhyme or reason at this point what you can try to do is double mahjong since they're not going to be winning you can run it all the way to the end of the game and try to achieve a double mahjong red dragon so that's kind of fun green dragon and of course we can use jokers throughout since we have no pairs so we might be able to do a double mahjong here nine dots let's see these are all four dots natural tiles so this three is not going to help so we're four tiles away from double mahjong four characters white dragon one thing i wanted to double check here is how long they have to decide it looks like it's, they started with a 60 second timer. Five dots. So. Seven characters. I'm just checking the timer here. Two dots. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. South wind. Okay, so 10 seconds to decide between a discard and a pick. One character. Five characters. Of this hand down here, the 369 hand is ready to win. So if they discard a nine bam, we might want to win. Oh, look, we picked it. Oh, now we could maybe do a pure hand because without that joker, this hand is pure. Red Dragon. There are no nine bams out right now. So we can use this joker up here maybe and go for a pure hand, which is more score, double value. East Wind. So we do not need a four bam. Four bamboo. We're looking for a nine bam here. And here's the thing though, this nine bam could be in their hand. So we'll run it to the end, to the last pick, and then we'll use the joker. So you don't wanna use all your jokers for the for other hand in case you need it for double mahjong. So keep that in mind as well. So there is some planning involved. It's not so much a strategy as it is just planning which in essence is strategy I guess four bamboos okay three bam that's a keeper there six dots so we are two away from mahjong now two dots Plum. Two 
two characters. One character. Eight bamboo. <laughs> it's kind of a slow game. If you're playing against a live yes, player, man. the decision making I think is going to be quicker. So when you're playing against a robot, consider that the game will probably be longer. So it'll be interesting to see how long this game is. Six characters. Okay, we don't. We do need to Kong that. Kong. We'll discard there. Seven dots. So we're ready to win on a nine bam for the second hand. And we are actually ready to win on the first hand as well. White dragon. With a five bam Eight or characters. a one dot. So this will be interesting to see how this comes together. Nine characters. Six dot, no. We're looking for a nine bam, a one dot, and a five bam. And they could all be in these tiles over here. One dot. Okay. One dot. Okay, why? Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and mahjong. Mahjong. And we'll throw Seven that. Dots. We may or may not get this one unless we pick a joker because this nine bam could be in their hand. Four characters. And if we do pick a joker, Bamboo. we'll take a win. So right there we have a 25 point hand at the moment and the jokers in a declared mahjong are locked. So we won't be able to make any exchanges there. Green Dragon. So we're looking for a nine bam. Nine dots. Nine bam to win on a pure hand. And it will be double the value as well because it'll be the second mahjong if we can get it. So regardless, Three it'll be dots. double value because if we draw a joker, it'll be Seven the second bamboo. win, which is doubled. Or if it is discarded, it will be double double. Let's hope they discard or we pick it. One bamboo. So we can get a nice value out of that. West wind. Four characters. Two bamboo. Eight dots. Oh, eight bam. Eight I bamboo. thought that was going to be the nine bam. So the other thing I've just noticed here, we have two one dots in that first winning hand, and it didn't show up in the game helper. Oh, here's a five bam. If we had not declared, we would have been able to exchange that five joker bamboo. for a self-pick win. Well, you don't get value for self-pick, actually. Not for Siamese Mahjong anyway. Seven dots. I am still hoping to get that nine bam for a Two pure dots. hand. Either um, nine bam or a joker. Nine bamboo. There it is, Mahjong. Jokerless. Mahjong. Okay, so we got lucky because the nine bam was not in their original set. So you can see over there. Let's go look at their hand, actually. So we have um, three, six, nine joker lists and then the second hand down under, under odds. So let's go look at their hand here. All these tiles were in their original hand, so look at the flowers. We never would have gotten those flowers, and they also had one of the one dots. One of the, thing, one of the things I was thinking is, Maybe we could hold off and not claim that one dot that was thrown where I declared Mahjong because then I, I, wouldn't, I would have been able to exchange for the Jokers. But they have a one dot 
and there there were tiles left in the wall so I don't know I suppose had I known that they only had one one dot I would have ended up getting it eventually but they could have had both one dots they could even have had the nine bam so you just have to think about that when you're playing against a robot I hope these tips help I think I have more testing to do when playing against robots, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll do more of them. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up.